So, we were just moving on. Ready to cross some bridges. Be all pro. But first we'll go down this little smaller bridge. It seems a bit more fun. Oh yeah, pro chest. Ether. What's in here? A green stone. Oh right, okay. So there's another stone, so we need to head all the way back. Sorry about that. I really should actually just go going, shouldn't I? Nah, nah, nah. I need to level up anyway, so we'll have the fights. I absolutely love um, having these CDs in my car. It's like every so often just enjoying the soundtrack of Final Fantasy IX. Granted, when you listen to the CDs you're a lot more used to, well, you get more used to the diversity. Okay, so just re-equipped everyone. Uh, we had a few levels up, now we've got... Uh, thankfully Catfish has now maxed out all of the skills and all his previous weapons, leaving us with the Rune Tooth, which is his best weapon so far that we have. Uh, wait, was it this way? Yes. I think it was this way. Yes, it was. Right, let's drop off another... Yes. Yeah, something came out of the back. Moonstone! <gasps> is that what I think it is? Oh, it's actually really not that good. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Beast killer in shell. It looked a lot better than I thought it would have been. Oh, oh well. Shell and beast killer. Jesus, what a, what a combination. Anyway, bear that. Unfortunately, no level ups from that fight. Hopefully, if you guys don't mind, but this is going to be a relatively short episode. I do need to do some grinding. Oh, bit of a sort of a problem there. No, not that way. So, just going to advance the storyline till I can get to perhaps where we're going. And, oh, I'm not missing any fights, so unfortunately. You know, one of the advantages is I'm getting a lot of accessories from fighting here, so at least I'm getting a lot of gill. Uh, however, I'm very slowly chewing through my healing item stash, so my need I'm going to. Uh, lean forward a bit, see if we can get to the next area, you know, well, by lean forward I mean push forward really hard. Oh, too many fights though, seriously, too many fights. Well, hopefully we can get further, because, you know, I'm recording, so it's, you know, I want you guys to at least get somewhere instead of black screen, black screen, black screen, black screen, black screen. <laughs> Granted, so do I, that was quite nice. Bum, 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 bum. Ooh, world map. And that's where we were, just were. And I get the feeling we're going over there. What's over there? Uh, not much by the looks of it, but... Yeah, nothing much over there. But we're going here. Catfish! This is my home! Made in Sari! You live here? It's a pile of rubble. Who's playing that pipe music? Jeff? Are you playing that pipe music? What happened here? This place is in ruins. Made in Sari. Village of the Lost Summoners. Hey! A kapo, a kapo, a kapo! Mocha! Moko! Kimono! A kimono! Kapo, a kapo! Momotos! Morrison! Where's Mog? No, Mog got eaten? Mm hmm. I don't know. Mog! Woohoo! Mog! Kapo! 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 No, no, I'm not mad. I'm gonna kill you! But uh, don't ever leave me behind again. Kapo! 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 Yay! Catfish, follow me! Alright, do we have uh, much of a choice? Da, da. Get to work, you guys! Kapo! Yes, ma'am! Mog, you stay here with me. Kapo! Okay, come on. Kapo! <laughs> In her pocket. Did that Moggle go inside your dress? Yep, Mog stays always with me. Kapo! <laughs> Catfish, come sit over here. Huh? Tell me more about yourself. Tell me! Uh, sure, I want to know more about you too, actually. Yeah, really. Really? Really? For instance, the island. Where are you from? Oh, sorry about that. Where are you from? How old are you? What do you do? And what are you doing? 
Uh, no. What I want to know is, what kind of fizz do you like? What kind of idols do you like? What type of moogles do you like? What type of girls do you like? And so on, and so forth, and so on. I, I've never met anyone like you before. What, a man? Jeff! What's wrong? You look dazed. Huh? huh? Oh, it's nothing. Do you have a fever? Ah, you're fine. Hey, are you jealous? Why would I be jealous? Are you and Jeff really just friends? Seems like you guys are something more... Well, yeah, we're more than friends. So, what are you guys? Uh, we're a team. A team? Yeah. Grimmith's also part of the team. Hey, where do you go? Is it sort of like Moogles and me? Eh, something like that. Oh, clean! Hey, thanks, Mocha. I'll be right there. Not much going on. I'm gonna start cooking. You have to come eat at my place later, okay? Oh, uh, bye. There's still stuff I want to ask her. Let's accept her invitation. Okay. I'll call you when the food's ready. Don't go too far. Grimmith's feelings. Always good to get active time events. Mr. 288 told me that I understand what it means to live and to die. But it's only because I thought stopping was different from dying. I don't I don't think I really understand what it means to live and to die. Where do we come from? Do we do we go back there when we die? If that's what it means to live, I wonder where I come from. Where will I end up when I die? Why am I shaking? What is it that I'm feeling? Oh, poor Grimeth. He's easily the best character in this entire game is Grimeth. Oh, she's a little tired. Let's go exploring. Oh, more active times. Jeff's feelings. Uh -huh. A village of summoners. I read about them in a book once. A tribe that possesses the power to call forth Eidolans. Eidolans. Knowing that I had Eidolans inside me didn't bring me any joy. Mother imprisoned me, used the Eidolans she stole from me as war tools. I, I thought I could, would kill my Eidolans if Kuja wasn't going to use them for war. But now that they're gone, I feel like I've lost a piece of myself. Why am I thinking all of this now? Must be the location. The place feels so familiar to me. Hmm. This is a restricted area! Restricted? What's that then? Koopa? Deathfish, this place only rocks in sand! I star sand once, but not sand here, not food! Oh god! Water look clean! Yeah. Hey, don't take it so hard. It's, it's a special case. Restricted access? <laughs> At least we know where Dewey is. <laughs> Jeez, what a dump. Must have been like this for at least 10 years. Hey, what can action possibly tell us? Actions, feelings. So we're going through everyone's feelings at the moment, apart from Dewey's and apart from Catfish's. Thanks for cleaning, you guys did a great job. A clean house worthy of my hosting my hero, Catfish. But here's where the real challenge begins. I don't think Catfish and Jeff are dating yet. Jeff has been slow to catch on to Catfish's moves. That means there's plenty of time for me to get between them. I'm going to cook lots of yummy food and show Catfish what a good homemaker I am. Oh, it might work if you cook good food, but Axon screws up a lot when she cooks. We don't have much food in stock right now. I know. That's why I can't screw up. You're all going to help me. No! I'm sleepy. Uh, you're all going to help. I'm going to cook my specialty. Rock fisted potato stew. God. Yeah, that's delicious. The last one you made tasted so bad I thought my pom-pom would fall off. Just stew? Yeah, I think I need another dish. What do you guys think? How about some fish? Fresh fish tastes great barbecued. 
Do we need to see the stuff? That sounds good. Okay, our menu is rock fisted potato stew and barbecued fish. Let's see. Who goes fishing? One second, guys. Alright, sorry, I just needed to find out who's good for what. So, first things first is you send to Mocha Fishing. Let. Oh, come on. Kippa! Who should get the potatoes? Mama Toast to get the potatoes. Kippa! And Chimomo, will you help me in the kitchen? Kippa! Right, and start cooking. Let's start! I think that's the optimal one. Grandpa, I don't want to be alone anymore. Help me do this right. Oh. Is there any items actually here? Oh, hello. What's this? Goody? Goody? Yeah! Libra! Ooh, yay! Another, um, uh, Stalazio. Grimmeth? What's up? Something wrong? Uh, oh, oh, it's nothing. I was, I was just thinking. Well, try not to think too much. Get some rest. Okay. Thanks, catfish. I'm gonna stay here and think about it some more. Please wait! Thank you for waiting. Lady Axon says the food will be ready soon. I'll take you to the Eidolon Wall in the meantime. Please follow me. Okay. Well, you're going that way. I'll follow you. Ooh, Axion's kitchen. Da, 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 da. How many people do I need to cook for? There's me and Catfish. There's that quiet boy, Grimmeth. I guess I should cook for one FGF too. There's all you guys. Mog, Moko, Mocha, Kimono, Momotos, and Morrison. Will you put water on for all the people I listed? I'll get the ingredients. Kippo! How many people do I need to cook for? Oh, you need to cook for 11 people. Pour water. Potato, potato, pumpkin bomb, lots and lots of nuts. Should I put in that old glob I found on the Condipity Mountain Path? No. You don't want to put in the old glob seasoning. Thanks. Let's start. Let the water go with a good shake of salt. Potato, potato, pumpkin bomb, another shake of salt. Lots and lots of nuts. I cut one, Kapo! It's heavy, Kapo! Hmm. Let Kimono cook and lend a hand. Keep stirring, Kimono. Don't let it burn. This is big! We'll pull it together on three, okay? One, two, three! Oh god, it's Dewey! Yeah, I'd go ah if I saw Dewey too. <laughs> Hello. Hey, Jeff. Come with me. I'll show you something big. Summon magic stuff. Summon magic? Yeah, it's called the Eidolon Wall. Moko was very proud of his role as the Eidolon Wall Guard. Action and decision to show the Eidolon Wall to outsiders upsets him. But we Moogles love action. He'll understand in time. Why does the wall need protection? The Eidolon Wall has been protected by Axon's summer tribe for generations. 1F Jeff can use summon magic too? Can I go get her? Is that true? Please, come in. The Eidolon Wall is this way. I already got her, so why does he say can I go get her? <laughs> She's there. The Eidolon Wall is a collection of paintings. The summoner tribe painted all the Eidolons they found during their research. These Eidolons all exist? Kippa! This is a holy place for the summoner tribe. Lady Axion comes here every day to pray and burn incense for her ancestors. What's this one? There's a Tomos. That's Bahamut. What's wrong, Jeff? I... Get it back. Uh, 
I want to look at the mural some more. Okay. Who's this one? I don't know who that one is, but oh well. The Summoner Tribe honors nature. They named the world Gaia. They considered the island's guardians of the planet. They attempted to become one with nature through their summon magic research. The time migrated to this location 500 years ago, but now... <sighs> oh well, it's a shame. So I'll just leave uh, Jeff to look at the paintings. Oh, Axon's kitchen number. Let's see what happens. Remember, Dewey had invaded. You bet not so good! Pale, why here? Strange clothes. Catfish, tell me about you, you're Kuja! Catfish, look for a man named Kuja. I call Dewey! Uh, oh, you chased Mog on the Condé Meeting Mountain Path. I'm Axon. Mog, don't ever come out while she he's around. Goodbye! Smell good? Don't eat anything! The heat too low! You can you can cook? It's my destiny to pursue way of gourmand! Uh, okay, we'll ask you for some advice. I know how many people live in this village. His catfishes group, the Mughals, and me make it eleven people. He's good about. The street only strong enough to make food for nine people. It was not possible to make enough for everyone. No! I teach you very important lesson in cooking. Always make more than you need. Maybe more people show up. Maybe your guests very hungry. You correct to make food for more than ten people. This your only ingredient for stew? Mama Toast went to dig up some rock fisted potatoes. Is problem now with heat? How we get more heat? Hmm. Ah, I know! I know Black Mage, I ask him make fire! See? Always works, you know? We ask uh, Dewey for some advice, we get some good advice. Ha, right. So, moving on. So now we just need to go back to... Oh, hello. Axion and her people protected the Eidolon Wall for generations. We Moogles also help Axion protect the wall. Don't mess it up! Where are all the other people of our tribe? I can't tell you. Hmm. Foreshadowing! Hey, Grimmeth. I'm gonna stay here and think some more. Okay, Grimmeth, you take your time. Kipu! Kipu! Wow, this looks good! Kipu! Welcome, Catfish. Have a seat. You made a lot. What's his name? Dewey? It helped me. It helped you without eating all the food? Amazing. Grimmeth too. <laughs> Let's eat. How is it? <laughs> wow, this too tastes amazing. You just start a restaurant. The fish is just right. Hey, action. Where are all the other summoners? Are they hiding underground or something? Underground? Yeah. They're all underground. Sleeping the eternal sleep. What? I'm the last survivor of my tribe. I've been living with Moogles ever since my grandpa died last year. I'm sorry. Oh, don't worry about me. I'm really happy here. Kippa! Ten years ago, which is four years before I was born, a natural disaster struck the village. Even the survivors suffered a great deal, but my mom and dad fell in love and had a family. Not that I remember what they looked like because they died when I was very young. I see. I've been told that when I turn 16, my body builds a re resistance to summon magic. I can leave the village with any idol and I want. That's only a short time away, just like the small difference between our ages, catfish! But you already know how to use summon magic action. Well, a summoner can't choose her Eidolon until she has come of age. That's why I can't choose an Eidolon or leave the village until I turn 16. We just keep training until then. How do you train? How? Oh, it's our horn. We use our horns to communicate with Eidolons. How, how do you communicate without a horn, I Jeff? I'm like a beautiful young heroine in turmoil, don't you think? Huh? You know, why I'm here in this village, it was to meet you, Catfish, my beautiful shooting star! That's a line from Lord Avon's play, Wishing Upon a Star. How did you know? Darn it! How does Action know about that music? This place is far from the Mist Continent. Oh, thank you. 
Hey, thanks, Axion. Oh, <laughs> really good. See? Don't you want to eat my food every day? <laughs> Maybe. Hey, there's some other stuff I want to ask you. Maybe? That's so rude of you! Uh, catfish. Catfish, help me clear the table and bring the pot over to the kitchen. Okay, first things first, we open up this pot. Oh, we received some. Oh, ooh, waiting. There's so many old books here. I think this one is Lord Avon's One a Star. Can you believe this? This is the first edition. I've only ever seen one at the castle library. Why does she own books that are more than 500 years old? Dun dun. Da da da. So it wasn't just Jeff? Catfish is really slow too. Those two are going nowhere fast. Well, this is good news for me. This person keeps telling me to fish harder. Catfish, I made great discovery! Is fish different from this continent fish? Hmm, <laughs> cool stuff. Is there something on my face? Uh, no, no, no. Thanks, Catfish, but can you leave it over there? Hey, Accent, do you know anything about the leafa tree? What about the leafa tree? We want to go there. It's sealed with an idol in. You can't get in. Sealed? You seal it, Action? Well... So he's sharp about certain things. It all happened before I was born, but they sealed an idol in that we failed to summon in the leaf tree. It's our custom to seal a failed idol in where we summon it. An idol in you failed to summon. But we used the power of another idol in to seal it. Do you understand what that means? That means the sealed idol in was so powerful they needed another one to trap it inside. Sealed with the power of another idol in, eh? Hmm. Interesting. So there's two idolins. First things first. Phoenix Pinion. Ah, that's a bit pointless. Oh, no, 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 no. Go back, go back, go back, go back. I saw something. <sighs> Too many items about. Right. Here we go. Right. Eh. There's writing on the wall. Axion, three years old. Mog, three years old. Same age. Hmm. Huh. Interesting. Just a wee scribble in the wall. Axion, will you break the seal for us? Uh, no way! It's not like we're going to do anything bad. Well, I'm sure we can handle it on our own. No way! Are you crazy? You want to do it? No. You want to do it? No! Okay. Catch another one! Catch another one! Okay, alright. I guess we're just gonna need to go. I don't think there are any books in summoning. Oh, hello. You should get some sleep before you go. Fair enough, can't argue with that. Let's have some sleep. Grimoth? You better get some sleep before we leave tomorrow. I tried to stop worrying about things, but I just can't. I know you told me not to think too much, but that was because we're different, Grimoth. You don't have to do everything my way, you know? I want to stop. I don't want to feel like this anymore. What if I keep feeling like this? Hey, Grimoth. In the end, it boils down to two simple choices. Either you do, or you don't. Simple as that, mate. You'd think with all the problems in this world, there'd be more answers. It's just not fair, but that's the way things are. The choice is yours, Catfish. I just want to protect the people I'm with. Doesn't matter whether I can or not, it's what I believe in. I knew it! I knew I was right! Catfish is the man for me. He's right! You either do or you don't. My choice is clear. I want to go with Catfish. You want a trick to get your mind off things? Okay. This is an age-old ritual between male friends. Uh-huh. Come over here, Grimoth. Let's go together. Doesn't it feel nice to let yourself go under the stars? Huh? Tinkle. Tinkle, tinkle. Tinkle, 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 tinkle. <laughs> tinkle, tinkle. 
<laughs> I think you guys can understand what they were like there too. They were too. <laughs> Catfish, I want to come back here. When I first saw the Eidolon wall, I was scared. But when I went inside and saw the murals, they calmed me. I want to see more. Sure, we'll come back after we check out the leaf tree. Thank you. We gotta come back and get Dewey anyway, we can't just leave him here. Are you coming back here for Axion? Axion is only six years old. She acts tough, but I think she's lonely. I haven't seen her today. Well, I have. Kippo, Kippo! Kippo, Kippo! Axion! <laughs> you can't break the seal of the leaf tree without calling an idol in. You're coming with us? Don't you want me to? Of course I want you to come along. That's what I thought. Okay, I'll join your team for a while. Grimeth, Jeff, let's have fun. The leaf of trees beyond the Condé Petit mountain path. Let's go! Why are you so nice to everyone, Catfish? Huh? What do you mean by that? Uh, forget I asked. I think she was mad. You think so too? Please look after Lady Axon. Come see us if there's any trouble. Hey, sure thing. Grimeth, have you figured out a solution to your problem? Not really. But I'm moving on. Good. <laughs>